find that Ray finds, oh, he's so divine, he uh, is. is on screen. He <laughs> creates an Oscar buzz, and this year he's been in five movies that prove that actors just don't get any better. Please welcome Ray Fiennes. Ray, are you sick of people asking you why your name is spelled Ralph and pronounced Yes, yes, I'm sick of it. Then I won't ask you. You want to ask me, don't you? Yeah, I do. Because there are people, it's spelled like Ralph and it's pronounced Rafe, and some people, is it Rafe? Is it Rafe? Is it. So why? What is with it? I was named after my father's step grandfather, who was Rafe, spelled Ralph. Huh. Do people get. It's, when you were a kid, was it was a just problem a in school? Uh, yeah, a bit, but it's an old fashioned way of. Saying Ralph? Ralph. Saying Ralph. Right. Have you ever thought you're just an old fashioned I'm an old fashioned guy. guy. <laughs> yeah. So we talk about five movies, and right now, uh, The White Countess is, is your fifth movie, and so many of them are coming up. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, you have uh, Wallace and Gromit, Harry Potter, The Constant Gardener, which just came. So are you just working your little fanny off, or is it a coincidence well, that they've come I out? Yeah? yeah? Boom, boom, one after the other, deliberately? I didn't know. I didn't know they'd all come out at the ah, same mm. time. Are you going to yeah. take a little? But did you shoot now? them in order like that, like within yeah. a short period of time? No, they're oh. all they're all back to back. Oh, the thing were, is, yeah. these, oh. these great parts come up, and you want to do them. Right. Yeah. So what do you do? You say no because you want to rest. I don't Are know. you having any fun? Carpe diem. Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm having great fun now. We're yeah. yeah. having fun yeah. today yeah. because the Golden Globe nominations came out, and Constant Gardner is up for a Golden Globe. Mm -hmm. Congratulations! Thank That's you. Wonderful. Thank you. Films, you won a, uh, an award for best actor for that movie. Yes, in the British Independent Film Awards. And they're talking about there's a little Oscar buzz now going on for you. Is that? And I, oh yeah, come oh. on, you haven't heard that yet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Now, oh, do you get excited? You're looking yeah. cute. You look when I mention the word. Do you get excited <laughs> at the notion? <laughs> Oh, well, if it, happens, if it happens, it's great, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but it can go any way, so you just have to be philosophical about it. But it's nice to know that people are talking about it. But too. do the it's Brits great. take yeah. it as seriously as we do? You know, the oh, Oscars, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah of they course. Do. Yeah, no, they all yeah. want to watch it on TV and right. plug into it. And if a British actor or director is nominated, then they yeah. get a lot of attention. Did you get a, a Christmas too. card from Charles and Camilla? No. Uh, no. Are you expecting one? No, no. no. I've met them, though. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll get one. You never know. It's still early. Did you get well, one from the president of the United States? George Bush? Yeah, I know. No, did you get one from George Bush? No, no there's no way. No, Elizabeth and I are deeply hurt. We're waiting no. there. We're Did hopeful. you get one from Bill Clinton? No. No? no. What's happening? No. You're making me feel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put my Angela's on again. Yeah. I'm going to put my Oscar nominations. Your first nomination came with Schindler's List, yeah. and that was your first big American role, and yeah. it was unbelievable. Oh, you were and you were right. Yeah, and you played evil Nazi commander, and that was really uh, a time when your first big American role came out, and overnight you, you kind of became this Oscar-nominated star yeah. here. How, what was that like for it you? It was overwhelming. I'd never experienced anything like that, because I think that film came, came out, and Suddenly, it was for Steven Spielberg. It was a huge yeah. uh, moment for him. It was a deeply personal film for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think um, we you should, think uh, should have you? killed Hitler? Of course, right? Sorry? Do you think Hitler should have gotten he the death hear, penalty? He, he didn't hear we were our, talking our about it before, really. about whether Hitler should have gotten the death penalty in a country that did not give the death penalty. Should they have given it to Hitler? Wow, that's a big discussion. This is a well, fun day. Yeah. Well, of course, lots of people would say you say yes, but you're talking apropos of the the guy in uh, yes, California. Yes, yes, yes. And we don't have the death penalty in the UK. I know. So would they have done it in his the case? The question is: Is it worth it for the one person who gets? Sentenced to death, who is innocent? Yeah. Well, Are you prepared to support the death penalty for that one person? That is the discussion. Right. But in his case, in Hitler's case, he believe it's we know he did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's we get into this discussion. There's lots, of, there's lots of people up there in the Hitler category, aren't there? Yes. Yes. Joseph Stalin. Yes. Right? Yes. 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 And like the character yeah. you played. Yeah. Well, some yeah. people yeah. are saying Saddam Hussein. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. a lot of people yeah. are saying Saddam Hussein. Don't go away. <laughs> Stay right. with us because we're going to talk about your new movie, The White Countess. We'll show you a little bit of it, and we'll be back with more with Ray. Fines. We are back with Ray Fines and Ray. I want to talk about the White Count Countess. Yes. Uh, where you play this blind American diplomat who wants to open up this nightclub in Shanghai, and you actually um, hire Nat Natasha Richardson plays yeah. this um, countess, this countess yeah. that is going to be the hostess. And we have a clip, so we can actually okay. show you guys. That. The place that I'm going to open. It'll be a bar. And, you know, a little dancing and a little music and. But it won't be like this. It'll be nothing like this. Uh, 
my place will be just the way that I've seen it up here inside and I I need you to be my my centerpiece oh. now wow. this is oh. a very Sweet. intriguing movie Sweet. film Takes place in Shanghai in the, what, the late 1930s? Late 19, yeah. 1936 in Shanghai. Very yeah. mysterious, intriguing film. Yeah. And, and um, Natasha Richardson yeah. plays a, um, a, a Russian countess who's, who's left her homeland after the revolution, as many white Russians did. Yeah, she was disgra a disgraced countess, actually, from yes, her family. Yes, well, there a lot of people who had been living quite wealthy lives in, mm -hmm. in, in Russia after the revolution left right. and were on hard times in cities like Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you had something to do with your character being blind? Uh, no, in the first draft I read, he was not blind, and then I just said to Jim Ivory, the director... So you did he, have something to do well, with Well, I just said to him, there's something else I think that could happen to yeah. this guy. I didn't know what it was. I said, mm. maybe there's another dimension we, we need, I think. And so then you thought the, something was missing? Yeah. yeah, I said, something's missing, I don't know what it is, and then the next draft, he was blind. D oh. Is it hard playing blind? Yeah, well, how do you do that? Yeah. How do it you is do hard. That? Well, it's hard, I think, very hard. I mean, I, I, um, I met a blind man. I wanted to meet someone who was similar in the c condition of blindness to the character I play, because he's someone who has had sight and has lost it. Oh. So well, I, met, I met someone who had different. seen and lost his sight through retinal disease. Yeah. But did you physically wear lenses that would no. block? No, you no. didn't. And well, actually, I tried to do that, but actually you can still see. Um, you have to completely mask the, the pupil, and that's... Oh. And that would have looked too odd. We didn't yeah. want the eyes to see. We didn't want the eyes to look odd. Right. We wanted that. One of the things we wanted is that, that weird thing where someone whose eyes are apparently okay yeah. is staring at you, but not quite looking at but you. But it's in interesting eyes. because he's attracted to this beautiful woman who yeah. he can't see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's in his mind. You're having a birthday, I understand, a couple of weeks. I am? Next yeah. week. Yeah. Do you have hats and parties and everything when you have a birthday? Do you want my antlers? Right. <laughs> I would love your antlers. In fact, I covet them. I don't know if she'll give them up. I mean, are you a you birthday have person? Do you love birthday? You do something for me, I give you my antlers. What about have you ever had like a, Why are you interrupting? I'm, I'm, I'm just <laughs> things were getting a little too hot, Barbara, for daytime. I, <laughs> so, um, on, on this embarrassing note, have you had any other embarrassing moments as an actor <laughs> in your life? Like anything you can look back on and say, Oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened besides Barbara Walters hitting on you with her antlers? <laughs> uh, no, I remember being on stage once um, doing a Shakespeare play. I was playing having to this great long uh, speech about love. It was, and my, I was wearing these moleskin trousers, which split. <laughs> well, right, that's good news. Right in, the, <laughs> in the front? And now I was wearing, and it, I was wearing um, underpants, which were bo white boxer shorts with red polka dots. <laughs> and, and I had to keep doing, sustaining this romantic speech and those trousers <laughs> were going out. You know, good luck with the nomination. Thank it's you. Really and happy happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Great Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our thanks to Ray Fines. The White Countess opens in select cities. December 21st. We'll be right back. Thanks. Thanks.